As well as achieving over 100 sites accredited to Green Flag Award status this year, the other significant milestone has been the national rollout of the Green Heritage Accreditation. This has been supported by the National Parks and Wildlife Service and the Department of Housing, Local Government and Heritage. And it's seen seven Green Heritage sites introduced into Ireland this year. The Republic of Ireland is now only the second country in the world to implement Green Heritage Accreditation. Accreditation for green spaces that are of specific historic significance. Hello, my name is Stephen Seaman from the Manu campus and today with Charles we are proud to be raising both the Green Flag Award and the Green Heritage Flag for the Manu campus. It's very important for us to be chosen as one of the pilot sites for our Green Heritage accreditation and it's very important that we are managing the campus for both the built and natural heritage. Delighted to announce that we'll be raising the Green Heritage Flag today. Hi, I'm Stephen from the new campus. I'm delighted to be here in Malahide Castle today to not only receive our Green Flag Award for 2021, but to be chosen as one of the pilot sites for a Green Heritage accreditation. Green Heritage is add-on award of the Green Flag Award for Parks and Green Spaces for sites that have heritage aspects of uh, their green space. On the Manu campus we ensure that all our green spaces are managed to the highest possible standard but also making sure that both built and natural heritage are maintained going forward for future generations. And we were delighted to achieve green heritage status this year, our fourth time since 2018. Craig Savage is my name. I'm a gardener with the Office of Public Works, based here in the Irish National War Memorial Gardens in Island Bridge, Dublin 8. We are part of 11 OPW sites that participate in this Green Flag and Green Heritage Award each year. I believe this award reflects the hard work and dedication from our gardening team, our conservation architects, and other bodies that were involved in the restoration and rejuvenation of this world-class Edwin Lutyens Memorial Gardens. It's fantastic to see Memorial Gardens being honoured, the memorial to the fallen soldiers, particularly the Irish soldiers that died and to the 49,400 who were killed in the Great War. Very happy to participate in the Green Flag Award scheme. The National Parks and Wildlife Service has been working closely with Antashka in recent years to promote the Green Flag initiative. And here at Killarney House and Gardens in Killarney National Park, we have won our third Green Flag this year. In 2021 also, Antashka, with the support of the National Parks and Wildlife Service, have introduced the Green Heritage Site accreditation. And we at Killarney House and Gardens are pleased to have been successful in gaining this accreditation in the first year of its operation. The gardens here at Killarney House are laid out to represent the 18th and 19th century layouts that were initially planted by Earls of Kenmare, the former owners of the estate. The Green Heritage Site accreditation is something that we look forward to participating in the years ahead and we would like visitors to come and enjoy the grounds here and to learn 
uh, about the history and the heritage of this site and to take in the fantastic vistas from Killarney House to the lakes and the mountains uh, beyond.